Joyce, for someone whose life's journey has been quite unusual, childhood in the US, youth in Uruguay, and finally here in Israel, what impact do you think that journey had on your design language? I had a grandmother that painted. I had a biological father that was an architecture draftsman. It's my mother. She was the real architect of the family. She decorated our homes. If it was in the United States, it would be colorful. Our home in Uruguay would be more than color. It would have the materials that are typical of the place. It would be with stone, wood, clay. Uruguay is also a place, the, the, the lands are very large, so each building can have its own expression, and there are a lot of materials, and that I think also uh, was collected by my protoplasma and brought with me here. Did you initially choose to design public buildings, community projects, as well as educational buildings? I mean, was that something that you aimed for, or rather it happened as you went along? Public buildings is a subject where uh, you can define the language. My first uh, public building was a theater in Ashkelon, and there I discovered real life. The main thing was that the budget is very, very, very low. So I had to deal with that without ruining the style. I uh, started out by experimenting and inventing things that are very cheap, but very dramatic and very stylish. It would be something that you come up with a, with a camera and it would turn into a dramatic trapeze, and that, that is something that gives a lot of drama to the building. Then I went out lo looking and trying to get interviews and more municipalities to try to get more and more of those type of projects, which that showed how intentional it was for me to continue experimenting in public construction. I tried to take all those elements that I created through the public buildings and I put them into dwelling projects. I'll give you an example. There's a neighborhood in Beitar Elite for Haridim. And it's very crowded because the plots are very small. But the Haridim are very humble and very private. So I used lace-like elements. And in this case, it would be like a little uh, sticks of aluminum. And I put them uh, in some places at pergolas and in some places covering the balconies. That would be a little bit like they would do in Morocco, but, right. but in a very elegant and clean and occidental type. So I did continue my experimentation that was that I thought would be only good for public uh, building but I went on to other types of building like housing, residential uh, buildings too. It seems important to you to deliver a kind of message with the projects that you're involved in. Could you tell me a little bit about that? It came out of pain because in 1985 I took part in a competition. It was the Supreme Court of Jerusalem. And even though I was elevated to the 23 first uh, places out of 175, I remember wow. it so much, but still I didn't win. So I studied again and again and again the project that did win. Tried to look where was the origins of their thoughts and um, and it was out of the Bible. At that time, I was commissioned the project of uh, the center of Itzo and Giva Time. And since it was a project of a woman architect for a woman client and for women users, I said, I'm going to study just like they studied law and justice, I'll study what they have in the Talmud about women. So I went to a different way of thinking and I went into my own head. What is a woman today? What kind of women are there? A mother, a housewife, a career woman. How can I express the career woman? And how can I express the homely woman? And in this, this building, I made a cutting gray wall, cutting its way, uh, representing the career woman that cuts her way. And then I went on to another example, a center in Ashdod Yaakov, in the name of Eyal Shimoni, a late soldier. I was supposed to make a center for um, a pool, swimming pools, and also a remembrance hall. So I made the area of the, of the pools with a flat horizontal roof, and then the cone, which is the remembrance room itself, pointing towards the, the sky, which would be a remembrance, a more fat little feeling of a person that lost. One of the subjects that is connected with you is feminine architecture. 
Let's talk about that for a minute. Some architects of the Association of Architects called me up and they told me that they have uh, lectures on the subject of women in architecture. So I started uh, talking with all my colleagues and I discovered that there are quite a bit of things to learn about the subject. The difference of credit. Women usually get less credit than men doing the same job or salaries. That's one thing I heard. Women are um, more uh, subjective, more instinctive in their work, and men more rational. And that's why women might be better in, in the part that comes out of the stomach, you know, that out of their feelings, like the elevations, like uh, the design of the facades of the building. Your return to Uruguay. Tell me a little bit about the independence project in Paysandú. Having fallen in love with architects that I take example from, like Frank Gehry, with his, uh, with his free shapes, I looked for ways and for programs, computer programs to, put, to bring into my office so I can make a, a free shapes of my own. And this building is the first one that I, that I made that on, not only since it's going to be standing alone for a long time until I build all the other buildings around, I tried to make it light with the use of glass but also with the use of these curved lines. And that was done with a program that I can work with a person that's working the program and tell them push in here, pull out here, and then connect that program to the drawing program, to the from the tri-dimensional tri program to the two-dimensional program, and then I get the measurements of each one of the balconies. That by putting them one on top of the other, I'll get all the curves. Israel is a country of opportunity. It's developing all the time and there is the place to spill all the things you collected out and you can experiment with it. Here is the place that I can express myself. It's my place to be.